Hey everybody, my name is Matthew Thornton and I'm here to help you guys out today. And you're gonna be helping me out. And we're gonna have a really good time today, right Henry? Yeah. This is Henry, he's gonna be helping me today. And we're gonna have a fun time today making shadow drawings. And it's gonna be a really good time. So all we need for this, for, for this, uh, for this lesson is some markers, right? Yeah. If you got a marker or if you got a pencil, pencils will work too. But we're we're using markers today because they they show up really well on the camera. What kind of markers are these, Henry? Sharpies. Yeah, these are sharpie markers. And then you need a good piece of paper, and it could be a big piece of paper if you have if you have big piece of paper, that's fine. Or you could use just small little paper, and you just tape it up to the wall. And I've got mine here on this uh, uh, easel for us to for the video. So, uh, but you can use any size paper you want and it'll work out for you. The other thing you're going to need is a light. And now we are working with a big light that helps us out. And it's really fun. And it's fun to play with lights because they cast, what do they cast, bud? They cast shadows. Yeah. So you could work, you could move a light around and it'll make different. Yeah. What well, it'll make different what? Shadows. So it'll make different shadows for people to uh to draw so what we're going to do is we're going to shine the light onto the onto the piece of paper that we have behind us and we're going to make shadows on it see how i have a big hand shadow right there and then henry he's going to help us out and what we're going to do is we're going to make a big shadow of something maybe our hand or if you have uh some pipe cleaners laying around you can twist these up into really cool shapes and then you could hold them up to the light as well. And they make a cool thing and you could trace that too. And then at the end, what's gonna happen is we're gonna trace a whole bunch of different shapes. And at the end, we're gonna try and color in between those shapes and make a, make a really cool pattern, a really cool design. So I hope you guys all have fun, right? Yeah. What's the most important thing that? To have fun. All right, let's do it. You wanna go first or you want me to go? Uh, you cast a shadow. Okay. Here we go. I'll cast my first shadow and then Hank's going to trace it. And we might speed up the video for you guys if we can figure out how to do that. So stay with us, have fun, and let's make some shadow drawings. All right, now Henry's going to go with the marker and he's going to trace my shadow that I'm creating onto the, onto the page. How's it going, Henry? Pretty good. Yeah. And if you're the person that's the shadow, you kind of have to hold still until the drawing, the person that's making the drawing is, is finished. Right? Yeah. And what's going to happen is when we do all these together, some of the lines will overlap and then they'll create little windows that we could color into different colors. Do you know what overlap means, Henry? Yes, overlap means intersect, kind of means intersect and they cross over each other. Right, good job. All right, so now Henry, you make a shadow and I'll trace. Ooh, that's a good one. Now what's fun is that you can move the light around, whatever light source you have. It could be a flashlight or a big light or even a lamp. And you can move that lamp around and you can make different shadows and it makes it really fun. So is that what you want, bud? Uh, I'll make a different shape. Uh. Yeah, work with it. Sometimes if you get closer, it makes a sharper image. Or if you get further away, it gets more blurry. If you get closer to the light, it gets more blurry. If you get closer up, it gets smaller and it makes better crisper shadow so here we go Ooh, is that it yeah awesome so i'm gonna trace i'm gonna trace henry's shadow as he tries to be still henry's made what looks like kind of a rabbit all right <laughs> good job all right that was fun here are you ready to do another one yeah let's do another one all right here we go i'm gonna try and get my face in there Onto the paper. How's that? Okay. Can you see my face? Ish. Ish? Yeah. Okay, mm. let's do it. Mm. 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 All right. 
All right, that's awesome. All right, let's do another one. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, put your face in there. See if you can get your face in there. Uh -oh. You have to turn your face so it's parallel to, there we go. Oh, scoot in a little bit more. A little bit more towards the paper. There we go, right there. Come closer, right here. There we go, perfect. Now I'm gonna draw this one like this. You know what that's called when you when you draw the side of somebody's face? Uh, I think it's called, I don't actually know what it's called. It's called a silhouette. So that's a really cool word that you could use. So that's the, the silhouette is the shape of someone's face just from the side. It's your silhouette. Okay, you ready to draw one more? Yeah, I'll draw one more, make right. it a good one. Make it a good one? How's this one? I'm gonna use my hand again. Is that cool? Okay. All right, trace that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. High up. All right, that looks great. So now we have a bunch of different lines on our paper and they all, what? what's the word? Intersect. Yeah, or they all intersect or overlap. So now we have these all these lines that intersect and overlap each other. And you can do this as much as you want. You can keep making shadows and keep making different shapes and keep, keep doing this until you get all your whole paper full, however big or however small it is. And then we can take and color in each of these individual places that we've made with some crayons or colored markers and you get this really cool stained glass effect. So I hope you guys all had fun. Did you have fun, Henry? Yeah. Yeah, I had fun too. I hope you guys all had fun and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so very much Bye. for hanging out with us. Bye. Bye.